What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Having Report podcast. I am your host, Brad Mines. The price of Bitcoin is just over 30,000 US dollars, and there's only about 265 days left until the next Bitcoin halving. As you can see, we're getting very close to the 800,000th Bitcoin block. When we get to 840,000 blocks on the Bitcoin blockchain, we will get to the 2024 halving. Today, we welcome Merrick Diobald onto the show. Merrick is the Vice President of Marketing for BitPay and has a lot of years of experience with fintech and payments. BitPay is the world's first and largest Bitcoin and cryptocurrency payments processor, helping many recognizable merchants get onboarded into the cryptocurrency space. They work with many recognizable brands, including Dallas Mavericks, Gucci, and much, much more. We're super excited to get to know Merrick and what's going on behind the scenes with BitPay. So without further ado, everybody welcome Merrick Teobald to the Having Report podcast. Merrick, welcome to the Having Report podcast. Thanks for doing this today. No, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's it's our pleasure. You know, BitPay's. Uh, you know, obviously, you guys are uh, a company that's making waves through the industry. Uh, you know, I've seen you guys uh, in the headlines qu- quite a bit uh, th- throughout the years. Uh, so I'm excited to get to, to get some insight uh, from you, get to know you a little bit, and a little bit more uh, what's going on behind the scenes with the company. Uh, you know, my, my first question is, you know, um, about you and you know your multifaceted uh, marketing marketing executive, and uh, you've had successful strategies developing uh, in financial services, payments, fintech companies. You know, how do you adapt these strategies to the unique challenges and opportunities presented by the cryptocurrency industry? Well, I mean, thank you for that, by the way. Um, I know I, I, I look very youthful and I, it doesn't feel like I've been around for a long time, but I've been around a number of years. As you mentioned, I've, I've been doing payments and in, in fintech for a number of years. Um, essentially, it's, it's the same customer. Um, it's just a different way to pay, right? So you have to understand who owns cryptocurrency, who owns Bitcoin, what are they like? Um, you know, a person that owns Bitcoin isn't the same person that writes a check, right? So uh, the demographic is different. So your marketing has to be based off of the demographic of the customer. So that's the biggest thing um, is just understanding who is a typical uh, Bitcoin holder, cryptocurrency holder. Yeah, no, that's uh, very well said. That, that makes a, a lot of sense. You know, obviously, you know, the Bitcoiners are, you know, unique uni- individuals. It's still, uh, you know, pretty, pretty unique concept still that, uh, you know, a lot of people are still on the other side of the fence and, and not in yet. Uh, you know, my, my, my next question is, you know, about uh, you know, BitPay. Uh, you guys are, you know, known to as the first most experienced company in Bitcoin payments. Uh, so I was wondering if you could tell us about some of the powerful tools that Bit- BitPay has developed for spending, accepting, and building with Bitcoin. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, um, we've been around since 2011, so we were probably the first payment processor. Um, you know, we focus only on cryptocurrency. So actually, at the beginning, we only focused on Bitcoin. Uh, but as other cryptocurrencies were developed um, and customers started using those other cryptocurrencies, we started to add new coins to our supported uh, portfolio of coins. Uh, we're up to 16 now. But for us, it's it's about crypto acceptance. So working with companies, primarily e-commerce companies, but we can work with any company that would like to accept Bitcoin, um, but most of them don't want to own Bitcoin themselves. Um, they want to be paid in US dollar or pound or, or, or another fiat type currency. So that's where we really excel. So uh, we made it really easy for them. Uh, the easiest way that they could accept cryptocurrencies is, is through email billing. So as easy as, as entering someone's email address, putting some uh, financial information in there, how much they owe in U.S. dollars. Um, and then we fulfill that email billing invoice to them. And then the user would actually just you know open it up, scan the QR code in there and complete payment. And then we process or do the conversion from Bitcoin to U.S. dollar. Um, so that's the easiest way. But many of our partners are e-commerce and have websites. So so we work with Shopify, Wix, and other companies like that. We have different plugins. We have different code libraries that they could use if they don't have a plugin. Um, and then we have that custom integration that we work uh, use and work with on some of our larger enterprise merchants. So. Um, 
it's all about acceptance, all about getting people to pay um, and, and making it in a way that they're used to and that they've been doing for a number of years with other payment alternatives. With offices in North America, Europe, South America, you guys uh, you know, obviously have a global presence. You know, how does BitPay navigate the diverse uh, landscapes and cultural differences uh, in, in different regions to promote Bitcoin and Bitcoin adoption and usage? Yeah, that's a great that's a great question. And, 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 and first of all, I mean, we are a virtual company now. Yes, we have an office in our headquarters or North Atlanta uh, in, in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, but we are a virtual co uh, company now, so we have employees that are living all over the world in Europe and South America, obviously here in, in North America. Um, but you're right. Um, Bitcoin holders come from all over the world. Um, and you have to you have to understand that not not just the demographic information of the holder, um, but the geographic information of what you can, what you can't do in those areas of the world. And we have a great team in place here that really understands how to treat customers in all parts of the world. Um, every, everyone wants to be treated fairly and, and, and properly, right? That doesn't change, but there are different ways that people receive their education and their news, depending on where they are in the world. So, um, but we're very uh, lucky to have a diverse uh, employee base too, because we are a virtual company now, and that also helps. So BIP, Pay has raised over seventy million dollars from top investors. Now, how has this funding contributed to BitPay's growth and development? Uh, is there? Can you share any notable milestones or achievements that made it possible through this investment? Um, the investment actually has allowed us to focus on building a platform that is scalable. So, as much as we want to say that we're we're mainstream, we're not quite there. We're not mainstream yet, right? Um, we're getting really, really close, especially with some of the new mainstream brands that are now uh, jumping on board and accepting cryptocurrency with BitPay. So what, the, what that money has is it allowed us to focus on being um, our scalability so that when uh, crypto payment processing becomes mainstream, that we have the systems in place and we are ready to turn on that uh, for all merchants, for all companies throughout the world. Are you able to share some of these uh, recognizable brand names that are partnering with BitPay? Yeah, so any any company that has publicly announced, I can absolutely share. There are some companies that accept and have it publicly announced. For sure. Um, but some of the biggest ones in the world, like here in the United States, AT&T, and I'm pretty sure everybody has heard of AT&T. So we've been a partner of AT&T, or AT&T has been a partner of BitPay for a number of years. Uh, so you can actually pay your at t mobility bill using your cryptocurrency if you desire. Uh, Microsoft is another one. Um, you know, some top e-commerce companies, uh, Newegg.com is an electronics dealer. They, they work in, uh, I don't know, 45, 50 different countries. Um, they're big. Precious Metals is another one. So you have Atmex, JM Bullion. Um, and more recently, some of the luxury brands are starting to 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 now adopt and, and work with BitPay. Um, Gucci made an announcement that they are now accepting cryptocurrency at all uh, Gucci North America stores. So um, we were working with them and they've done really well. Um, Ralph Lauren is even testing cryptocurrency in their Miami Design District store that they just opened. So um, a lot of big names. Not not all of them have been around a long time, but uh, again, some of them like AT and T and Microsoft were early adopters to crypto payment processing. Very cool. You know, as a marketing executive, uh, you know, I'm sure you've encountered a lot of challenges uh, in promoting crypto and blockchain uh, to a broader audience. How do you approach addressing these mis misconceptions and building trust among pen potential users and customers? You know, that's that's the biggest thing I deal with every day. It's it's the lack of education or lack of knowledge about uh, blockchain um, and Bitcoin. You know, um, Bitcoin is a fantastic payment method. Um, it was built to, to for digital commerce. Right. Um, so explaining to everyone what exactly Bitcoin is, that it is, in fact, more secure than any other payment method out there. Um, that helps, but it's a constant battle uh, that we're doing because not everybody really understands Bitcoin. It's not something that you can hold, not not tangible. And I think that's where a lot of people fall off on. Um, but not everything that has money or it has value is tangible. 
So um, it's just really convincing them that, hey, it's secure. You can see every transaction that ever happened on the Bitcoin blockchain from the very beginning if you wanted to. Um, and you know what? Uh, it, it, a lot of times people think that this is uh, money or that is used for illicit purposes. And and while that might have been the way in the beginning and that and it took off a little bit with that, um, most of the Bitcoin transactions today are used for really good purposes. Um, and you can, again, easily track everything on the blockchain if you needed to and wanted to. So education and knowledge is the key. And we're constantly coming up with new ideas to further educate and provide that knowledge to those that don't understand the blockchain. Merrick, just to give your brain a little break from Bitcoin and blockchain, what do you like to do outside of all of this? Uh, I do a lot. I've got, I've, I have three grown children in college, so young adults, I call them. Um, you know, I, we do a lot of camping. Um, we, we're here in North Georgia. We got the North Georgia mountains not far from us. We can do that. I have two children at UGA, so uh, college football is big uh having they have won the last couple national championships i have a son my son goes to oklahoma so we're we're really big into college sports and uh big universities like that um and, yeah and i've got some family here locally so we do a lot with our family here so a, lo a lot it, it, a, enough to keep me busy after work that's for sure what about you what do you do uh, I work a job during the day. I do the Bitcoin podcast uh, at nighttime and on weekends. Uh, I, I like to go paddle boarding. I like to play spike okay. ball, basketball. Uh, yeah, I like to watch good shows. I've been, I've been watching some Yellowstone lately. I finally uh, uh, yes. bit the bullet on that one and just been uh, binge watching that at night before bed. Uh, I like to read Bitcoin books. I'm currently reading the, um, the A Progressive's Case for Bitcoin by Jason Mayer. Uh, I got I got a stack stack a little stack behind me a little collection of uh autographed bitcoin books uh so that, that all that keeps me busy also have a husky who likes to go on lots and lots of runs and and uh so i take him biking a lot so that, is, that uh it all keeps me that very is much great busy as well uh no kids or anything but i do have a niece and nephew and uh they love it when uncle brad comes over well if you're ever if you're ever in north atlanta we have a, an amazing lake here lake Lanier. Okay. And uh, you can do some paddle boarding there. You can do some other stuff on that lake, too. Um, actually, a, a show that you should watch is Ozark. Have you seen sh the show uh, Ozark? I do. I, I watched the first season of Ozark, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was filmed. A lot of it was filmed here in North right, Atlanta right. and on Lake Lanier. So it's, it's really wow, interesting. Wow, that's very cool. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll definitely, uh, you know, definitely put it on my on my list. So uh, shifting back to, to BitPay, uh, you know, brand awareness, very crucial for a company's success. What specific initiatives or campaigns – uh, has Bit BitPay implemented uh, to increase brand visibility? So we actually we actually rely a lot on our our partners. So we work a lot with our partners and see how we can help them. Um, because when we help them build their brand with crypto, it's it's helping BitPay build our brand. Um, you know, so working with our partners when they do um, any type of contest or they have something on their website or a news release or a press release. That, in fact, helps, does more for us than if we did something independently. Um, and we're also a big believer in working with our partners. So uh, with BitPay, we're here to build an industry. Um, so everything that we do is to make sure that the customer is getting absolutely everything that they should be getting. And our merchant partners are getting everything that they should be getting. So we like to work with the customers and we like to work with merchant partners um, as we build this industry. We could do it other ways, um, but, but that's how we choose to do it. Um, again, we're, we have our own social channels, so we do a lot on our social channels, uh, constantly putting out educational materials. Uh, we have a lot of different blogs out there. If anybody ever wants to learn about two-factor authentication or the blockchain or what a secure crypto wallet is or a custodial wallet versus a self custody wallet. Um, you know, we have all of that information on our website. So, so this industry is becoming ultra competitive. How do you guys approach customer loyalty? Well, that's that's the backbone of it. So, if you're talking about our, our, our merchant customers, those partners, that's it. That's it. That's why we want to do as much as we can do to build that relationship with them. There's things that we do that we don't have to do. We try to go above and beyond. You know, again, um, we we want to help them market crypto payments. 
Uh, often, um, and, and there are studies that have shown that merchants that accept cryptocurrency as a form of payment with BitPay can see up to 40% new customers. So that's not existing customers converting from one payment to another payment. That is up to 40% new customers. And their average order value is two times what it is with traditional payment methods. And e-commerce merchants, retailers understand that, and that's why they're starting to work with us. So it's, it's making sure that we can provide that and help them drive some transactions through them and see that additional business. What emerging trends in the uh, cryptocurrency space do you find most promising or exciting for the future of BitPay? Oh, wow. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a lot going on. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the, the amount of new crypto wallets that are being added, um, you know, again, we started with, what, with just one cryptocurrency being Bitcoin. And then as more and more cryptocurrencies were developed um, and more customers demanded that we accept those other cryptocurrencies, we added some. So uh, as I mentioned, we're up to 16 now. Um, many are, are not, not a few, I can't say many, but are now stable coins. So people want Bitcoin, but they might not necessarily want to use it to buy something right now. Um, but they do like the, the fact uh, how digital transactions work and how cryptocurrencies work with that. So they'll buy stable coins now and use that uh, when they want to buy something, keep their Bitcoin. Um, and But when the price gets back up to $70,000, you'll see a lot of people using their Bitcoin again and to buying and buying those things or actually even converting into a stable coin. Um, and then, you know, using the stable coins at that point too. So cu customers uh, and customers or users, they want um, choice. So by us, we, we support all crypto wallets, um, but some of them we have a really tight relationship with. As you can imagine, all crypto wallets are different and unique with how they handle the, 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 the cryptocurrencies that they support. So, but some of them um, work with us and we have a payment protocol that makes it a much better way for a customer to, to make a payment. And if they can adopt our payment protocol, um, it just, it's, it's just that much better. So that's one thing. Um, so working with all crypto wallets and probably adding more coins um, in the next couple of months and few years too, as they become, as they have been validated by the marketplace. Do you have any specific uh, case examples uh, where BitPay, BitPay solutions significantly benefited a business? Uh, significantly benefited a business. Um, I can't give out some names, um, but yeah, uh, we have some of our merchant partners. You know, when, when, when someone starts accepting cryptocurrency, our standard rule is you're going to see 1% share of checkout. Doesn't sound like a lot. Um, but you're going to get 1% share at checkout. But when you add in the low processing fee, when you add in that there are no fraud chargebacks, that's pretty impressive right there. Um, but some of our merchant partners that have been with us and who promote and know how to promote crypto payments have seen now 7, 8, 9, 10% share of checkout. And that's when it's really exciting for companies. When they get up to 10% share of checkout, um, no fraud chargebacks, a lower processing fee. Uh, that's what we're seeing with some of our, our, our larger partnerships, the ones that have been with us a while and understand how to market cryptocurrency payments to. Um, but some interesting stories, we've had some merchants that will only accept a crypto payment on nights and weekends and holidays. So um, take, for instance, if you wanted to do a private air charter, and it's going to cost you fifty thousand um, dollars. You know they're not going to accept any other form of payment. They're not going to accept a check, or, or credit card payment, um, or ACH or wire or anything, because some of those can be um, overturned or disputed, right? So if you want to fly out that day, um, some of them actually say I, you need to pay with BitPay and you need to pay with cryptocurrency because again, it, there's there's no fraud chargebacks that can't be overturned. Merrick, with all your experience in financial services payments and fintech, what advice would you give a young entrepreneur uh, or marketer entering the cryptocurrency space? Education. You've got to get in. You've got to understand it. It's, it's, it. When you think you understand it, something else is developed, and now you have to understand that. So um, don't be afraid. 
jump right in. Yeah, so I would recommend, you know, just jumping in, diving in. Um, you know, there are some apps out there that make it really easy. Um, and, you know, I don't know if we're allowed to throw out some brands. Um, but, you know, I, I like the Coinbase one where you can go in and you can learn and earn right so that's a great concept where you don't necessarily have to put your own money in yet but you can learn about cryptocurrency you can learn about new coins um sometimes you actually earn bitcoin um if you do something so again you're 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 starting in cryptocurrency you might not have put your own money in yet but now you get to understand how it works um and there are other apps out there that i would recommend and i always recommend um you know even to my kids um there's an app called Lolly. I don't know if you've ever heard heard of Lolly, L O L L I. Um, but when you spend thing items that you normally buy anyways, you get rewarded with Bitcoin. So um, again, you're gonna go, you're gonna buy that twenty five dollars uh, Starbucks gift card. Why don't you earn a dollar in Bitcoin? You're gonna do it anyways. So um, you know, start there. Um, and then as you accumulate Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, um, you might start investing on your own. And then when you start investing on your own, you have to make that decision on the self-custody type wallet or uh, a custodial wallet. Um, you know, and there's benefits to both. I, I personally prefer the self-custody wallet. That's very private, very secure. Um, but you have to be knowledgeable enough to know what that is. And if you don't, then you might want to reach out and get that custodial wallet. Yeah, for sure. Like you like you said right in the beginning, like education, right? And maybe not taking that full custody right away. Maybe it's something people some folks have uh trouble getting comfortable with right away, but uh you know, it's definitely something you want to learn about uh in the, in the long term. That self custody is kind of uh, obviously the major theme of one of the major themes of Bitcoin. Uh, Merrick, uh, this has been awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh I'm going to thank you so much for coming on to the Haven Report. Uh, I'm going to open it up for you if you think there's anything worth mentioning that we haven't yet. Uh, if not, maybe some words of wisdom to leave my audience and I. If not, just let us know where we can follow you and learn more. Yeah, no, absolutely. I do have one thing that we didn't really cover, and it's related to Bitcoin, and I think people might like this. But, um, you know, we started with Bitcoin acceptance, payment acceptance, but we also have uh, Bitcoin payout. So um, as an employee of BitPay, we are offered the opportunity to be paid in Bitcoin if we want to be paid in Bitcoin. And many of us do. So um, if you are working for a company or with the company, it, it's you know a benefit that they could offer to their employees. You don't have to participate. You can get 1% payment in Bitcoin. You get 100%. You can get $100, whatever you want to set that number at. But that's another way to get in, into uh, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. Um, and then you do the dollar cost averaging. So if you do $50 every week or every pay period, sometimes the price is going to be low. Sometimes it's going to be high. But you do the dollar cost averaging and that's going to be better for you for the long term. Um, but the payout product is also good to pay an affiliate network, um, offer as a reward, an incentive, contract. As, so um, most people think of BitPay as payment acceptance, but we also have a payment payout product and it's being used by a number of different companies today as well. Um, other than that, you know, um, BitPay.com is our website. Our social channels channels are there. You have my name on the screen. I'm on LinkedIn. Um, I have other social channels, but my primarily business one would be LinkedIn, and it's uh, Merrick Theobald on LinkedIn. Thanks for doing this today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Brad. Hey you, thanks for listening to the Having Report podcast. If you like the show and want to support, subscribe on your favorite podcast platform and be sure to leave us a comment. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Having Report. If you're a Canadian and you want to buy Bitcoin or cryptocurrency for the first time, get a $20 bonus when you go to bitbuy.ca forward slash having. If you want $30 off the ultimate digital asset security device BitFi, go to havingreport.com forward slash BitFi for more information. Until next time, I'm Brad Mines.